outrage and a sense of betrayal in Idaho tonight as the mother of eight-year-old Robert Manuel is charged with murdering him. Melissa Jenkins and her boyfriend Daniel Ehrlich are both charged with murder in his vicious killing. When the precious eight-year-old boy went missing, the community rallied around the boy's family and desperately searched for him for 10 days. Then little Robert's body was pulled from the canal two weeks ago, but the search for his killer continued. Sadly, it appeared his own mother may have known all along exactly where he was. Today, Robert's mom and her boyfriend appeared in court to face murder charges. The gruesome details of the savage beating Robert allegedly endured at the hands of his mom's boyfriend were revealed. And or by inflicting upon Robert G. Manuel extreme or prolonged acts of brutality with the intent to cause suffering, to execute vengeance, or to satisfy some sadistic inclination by inflicting repeated acts of blunt force trauma to the abdomen and or head of Robert G. Manuel. And they're reading that like it's something that they're reading in the library. Sick! The indictment says the mom did nothing to protect her son and even hid evidence of the abuse. Neither suspect entered a plea today. They're due back in court in September. But could this tragedy have been avoided? The answer is yes. It was 100% avoidable. Had the child not been in that home, he would be alive today. Remember, back in March, the mom pled guilty to misdemeanor injury to a child, Robert's half-brother, after fracturing the baby's skull. Robert's biological father, Charles, had custody of him, but Jenkins was allowed visitation. Should this boy have been left in the care of this woman and her ex-con boyfriend? Obviously not. So many issues straight to my fantastic panel. Mike Gaynor, retired NYPD detective and president of East Coast Detectives. Dr. Dale Archer, clinical psychiatrist. J.D. Weintraub, criminal defense attorney. Curtis Sliwa, founder of the Guardian Angels. And Pat Brown, criminal profiler and CEO of the Pat Brown Criminal Profiling Agency. Pat, Robert's mom was indicted for murder for allowing her boyfriend, also charged in Robert's murder, to beat him to death. The indictment had brutal details. So do you think the fact that they had those details, the mom flipped on the boyfriend, and will her defense of not doing anything to save Robert be that she was afraid of this boyfriend and terrorized by him as well? Well, I'm sure, Jane, that's the defense that's going to be used, that she was one of those women that uh, was... Yeah, she just, she couldn't do anything about it because her boyfriend had so much control over her. But let's face it, we go back to the situation where the little, the little baby got his skull fractured. Now, I even question that, whether she allowed the boyfriend to do that and took the rap for it. So she may have already known how violent this man was. So I, I, yeah, I don't think the defense is going to fly, but sure, they're going to try that one. You took the words right out of my mouth because at the time of the skull fracturing in incident of the little boy, Melissa claims she accidentally hit the baby's head on a table while burping him. Yep. But Curtis Lee, well, in light of all this, you have to wonder if that original incident was a cover-up for this guy. Because he's the father, reportedly, of that little infant. Well, it may well have been, but no, the point not. is, he couldn't have gotten into that house and let the mother let him in. And the eight-year-old boy, unfortunately, who was killed, a judge ordered the father to send the eight-year-old boy to the mother as part of her rights of visitation. And you have Unsupervised. to say, how could this judge do this? The, the boy was safe and sound with his father. This woman obviously has a history of problems. And I got to tell you this, I know a lot of people might not like this. She'll end up doing time. She'll end up getting a plea because she'll flip on this guy. But I say tie up her tubes, give her no plant, never let her have a kid again. Never. Dr. Never. Dale Archer, it's worse than that. The little baby, the one who got it on the skull, he was back living with them. And, and, yeah, no. and I'm going to yeah. quote the Idaho statesman. Jenkins and her boyfriend, Daniel Ehrlich, had been working to get little Aiden back since Jenkins' sentencing in March. A friend and neighbor said the couple was taking court-ordered parenting and anger management classes and that Aiden had been back in the home for about two months at the time of Robert's disappearance. And this neighbor says that Melissa, the mom now charged with murder, didn't care whatever it took to get the kids back. She said that what, whatever she and Danny had to do, they would do it. Why on God's name would they want these kids back if they're just going to beat them like this? Yeah, no, it's a horrible, horrible situation. 
And I think that the, the message always has to be, if you are convicted of child abuse for one child, all of the children have to be taken away from you. At that point, child protection has the call about when you become fit again to be able to take care of your children. And there should be counseling. There should be actual an evaluation ongoing to determine when that has occurred. Obviously, that if child happened. protection, that I know, happened. but if child protection, there's no accountability. Anger management, what? There's well, no I, you know what? If, Katie Weintraub. I would really like to see if it did happen where the report is saying, okay, they're clear, they're good, everything's they fine, have they a, can have their kids back. Look, I'm reading it, Katie. They got it in stages. They got the little baby back first with supervised visits away from their home, then supervised visits at the apartment where they lived, and they took anger management classes. We all know what anger management classes is. I mean, that's a joke. It's a couple of hours with somebody who's not even licensed as a therapist to, you know, that they have to sit through. Look, as a mom, I'm horrified by seeing all this. And as a lawyer, there's plenty of blame to go around here. What Dr. Archer was talking about, he'd like to see the report. I'd like to see accountability. How many more murders of children do we have to witness in the court system? The system needs to be indicted. These caseworkers have to be held accountable. Maybe it's contemptible. I don't know. But there has to be an answer. To Shame stop on this child story. services. I will say it again. This horror story was 100% avoidable. In court today, the judge read the indictment out loud because accused killer mom Melissa Jenkins is reportedly illiterate and cannot read or write. So listen carefully at home oh, to the graphic details of what her boyfriend allegedly did to her son. By inflicting repeated acts of blunt force trauma, to the abdomen and or head of Robert G. Manuel, an eight-year-old child, date of birth 06-08-2001, with his hands, knees, fists, and or feet, and or by other means of physical force, physical abuse, and or emotional abuse, which caused bruising, pain, abdominal bleeding and injuries, and or head injuries. All right, I'm going to read you the boyfriend's rap sheet. Uh, convictions of burglary, battery, and possession of drug paraphernalia, and he spent almost seven years on and off in Idaho correctional facilities. So, uh, where Jane, was where the, the Department of Children and Families Jane, with she, a guy who's an ex-con and a mom who has a history of... Well, I mean, I think Janie was absolutely right. What you need is accountability here, and I, I would want to see the report, and I would want to say, what were your criteria to determine that everything was okay for them to be able to get their children back? That's what needs to, I'll, to I'll happen. Tell you That's what now, I would like to see. There were witnesses who said that she would punish her child and somebody else's child by making them take cold showers, oh. by putting them at nose length to the wall. I mean, this is lunatic sick. This is really a sickness. Where were the yeah. home visits? Where was the follow-up? Those are the people that are making the recommendations that the judges rely upon. And why Those do are the people, people who hate children want to get them back so badly? Everybody, stay right there. I'll have so much more on the arrest of Robert Mandel's mother and her boyfriend in 30.